Hello everyone and welcome back. We are picking up with some more Loop Mancer today. This is going to be part two of the Let's Play series. So last time we went through the whole intro, got a little bit of backstory on why uh, Zishu, I think his name is, uh, on why he's searching for this guy and then also his daughter. And now we are loading into the uh, first mission again to see if we can actually get through it. Let's see how this goes. Feeling a little bit of deja vu right about now. <laughs> it's funny because this is exactly where we started in the last episode. Greetings, young tissue. I'm Mona, the senior mission inter- Greetings, Mona. Wei Long, follow the way to my left. I know you crossed Wei Long's path five years ago. Tell me of ev Wei Long's- Wei Long. Thank you for the- Be careful. I think that's all the same information she gave us the first time around. So it's not a huge deal for this one. Okay, so that says something about wall jumping. Oh, you can actually break those. Wait, do I not have a... Uh oh. I don't have a sword. I'm just using my fists. Damn it. Ah. Man down! Man down! <laughs> if only... He punches quick as hell. Oh my god. Okay, well, that was, uh, I thought we were going to be like a little bit slow on those punches there, but did okay, surprisingly. Crawl underneath this. This definitely is going to be one of those games where people love to speed run. No doubt about it, especially if you get like a bunch of unlocks and you're just like, go, go, go the Gotta entire time. Sweet. What the hell are you all looking at? <laughs> Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Ah. Fucking hell. Oh, just lost the dude. I was so ah. close. <laughs> There we go. If there is a, a weapon, like a melee weapon while we're in here, that's not too expensive, then I might honestly pick one up. We'll see though. Oh, we got some more ammo. We also have a charge ability ready to go. I don't know how you you see that better. Salted fish. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Melee parry. You can defeat deflect projectiles by hitting them with melee attacks with the deal and deal heavy damage to the enemy. I think that's what I was just doing right there. That is one of the abilities I just unlocked, like right before we ran into this mission too. I just want to go home. Is this? Will it tell me? You motherfucker! Fuck you, mo motherfucker! I was so close. close. No, no. Nice knockback. Okay. Anything here? No. Fucking idiot! Fuck you! Oh. 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 <laughs> Wilhelm. <laughs> nice. Boomer's Diary number two. <laughs> I 
I think the left is the right way. So I'm gonna go. Oh wait, no, it is. Oh god, there's a lot of guys here. What the hell? All right, that was pretty cool. I don't know what it is, but the game feels a lot smoother than when I played the demo. Like, I, I was getting knocked around all types of things uh, during the demo, but this time, it, it just feels, like, almost a little bit overpowered, but it still has challenge because, like, you don't have a lot of health in this game. So, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, we can transfer... We could get the pipe wrench set. Um, but we don't have enough points for it yet. We still only have like 600. Can I see what my current equipment is? Like, is there a way of... Okay, here we go. Buffs acquired. So right now we're using Jad, Mine, and Pyroblast. G is the pyro, or no, Q is the pyroblast. Logistics terminal activated. Okay, I'll take my health. Try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! <sighs> 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 Got him. Kill him. Bring it on, big guy. Let's do it, big guy. Is that it? Oh no. Stay focused. Oh no. So I think the trick is you have to keep dodging behind him. You hit like a wuss. Oh god. Woo! Oh my god, he has more health this time. <laughs> no, no. There it is. Oh my god, that was close. Oh. Oh my god, my health. Door opened. You think too highly of yourself. I'll get you in the end. Got some ammo. Oh no. I thought we were gonna die. Holy. Please give me health. Thank you. The jab feels pretty good. Oh god, I didn't realize this was a car area. Oh no. No, no, don't tell me I'm about to die because of the cars. No! <gasps> Terminal insurance activated. Okay, get me out of here. What the I'm about to die again. Hell. Man down. Man down. No. Get back up. Oh my god, I'm terrified right now. I'm literally terrified. Heroic keyboard, you know what? 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Every little bit of help uh, counts. Pick up. Now we have a keyboard instead of our hands. Do items have durability to them, I wonder? Problem is, my health is so low right now. Oh no, 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 no. <gasps> no! Unexpected crisis. Damn. Alright, looks like we're going to Longshi Town. Wow. Man. That's a bummer. We are right there. And the thing that sucks is you have to kind of start all over. Now, do we still have our... Oh, we have a new weapon. Wait, what? Now we have a machete? Interesting. Fuck me, idiot. The map is also changed now. Oh, God. Fuck, fuck. My arm. Hook activated. I'll heal myself. Can I teleport to the end or no? No, you can only do that. I'm kind of confused what the point of the teleportation is. Because you can only use it, it seems, when you're... Like, say if I got all the way through the mission and I wanted to come back here right now, the only way I could do it or use it is if I was all the way over here and then I teleported back here. But I don't really see the reason yet on why you would do that. Unless if, like, there's really an item or something you're, you're trying to, like, 100% it and you missed it. But I don't know. I understand if, like, you're starting a new mission and you use it, but... Ah, uh, can't get there. Ah, here we go. It's interesting. So you have to, for this one, you have to activate the hook. Am I gonna run out of time? <laughs> of course. <laughs> no supplies needed. Be careful. Go ahead and skip that again. The fun part is gonna be fighting the big big guy. I wish they, I kind of wish they made it more apparent when your ability was active. Like you have to be looking in the top left to be able to see it a lot of times. Like your special attack. Let's heal up. Also, I wonder what happened to our special keyboard then. There's one right there. This one's only 250. Didn't I just pay like a whole ton for it? Attack damage? Yeah, I'll take that. So at least you can still get these upgrades while you're running around. Oh, 
I know there's one guy. Yep. Use explosive barrels to kill an enemy. Uh, use skill chips to kill enemies. No, I haven't had. Oh. <laughs> so if it says zero, you can use it then. Now I see. Use overkill. Fuck. Okay, well, there's blood everywhere. Fuck you. What the fuck? Oh, no. More dudes! Yeah. Fuck, fuck ah. her! Man down! They got one of us! This game feels great swapping back and you forth on like enemies. Like if they get if you get surrounded by both sides. You think I'm afraid of you, Xiong Sishu? We'll see who's more scared. Okay, so if I check this, does it tell me what each of these are? I kind of get it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of get why they have the teleport system. If there's a weapon that you see that's further on in the mission and you don't have enough credits, then you can always go back and pick it up. So that makes sense for that part of it fire axe there's an arc cooldown time is minus six and damage is plus 24 that's actually pretty good uh, it costs 250 what's my current um i wish it would compare it with your current one for 250 i mean that sounds like a good deal right Bye. Yo. Okay, here we go. Try running again, and I'll break your damn legs. We've done this a few times now. Oh. Sir, please. Same memento. Okay, memento. Don't think you're so tough. I'm going to no! destroy you. You're joking. Oh my god. Oh, I was about to say. Okay, so it doesn't it does not kill you. But it makes it very close to. Alright, I'm gonna try dropping down. Ammo reserve, max tactical gear reserve. Uh, sure. Let's go ammo reserve, I guess. I'm glad it just resets you right there. Oh my God. If it did anything worse, I would be terrified. Please heal. Okay, now I have to worry about not getting killed by these damn cars. <laughs> he just stands on the road. So what exactly happened to the... Uh... Oh, that looks pretty sick. Masa Mune? I, I don't have nearly as much though to unlock it, so. Ah. Oh. 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 
Oh god, this one has cars. Oh, oh no! Grenades! My leg! Okay, max HP. Yes, please, please. Plus six really isn't a whole ton for uh, max HP stuff, but I mean, it's better than nothing, right? It is better than nothing. One second. Okay. Now, I guess we have to wait and then jump to the next one. Yeah, there's another spot on the right. So let's drop down. You motherfucker. There you go. <laughs> Eat some bullets. Nice guys. Nice. <gasps> Almost fine. average how many times it takes to complete oh my god i thought i was dead i thought i was dead like i wonder if it's supposed to be one or two times for this game or if it's gonna be like maybe first try you could get it every time yourself i'll get you in the end there was an i i definitely could have gotten right there Black cat. I advise you not to get involved in this, or you'll die a very tragic death. We well, don't know it's safe yet, man. Black cat's warning. Okay, that was actually kind of cool. You saw the cat and you remembered, oh shit, this is where I died. Okay, so we're back at the, the detective agency. All right, so anything past this now is new territory for me because I don't know if you could get this far in the demo, but I didn't get it. I it's lucky you got back safe, this year. This so Longshi we'll town see. is a mess right now. Did we get any leads from the mercenaries that kidnapped Wei Long? The intel unit analyzed the images you sent. They're bionic human mercenaries from Koga Industry. That Japanese company, a large multinational security company. Yes. Koga Industry is a global leader in the private security sector, offering both individual and corporate level security solutions with their bionic human products. It's a family business founded in 1979. The director of Koga Industry is a Japanese entrepreneur named Shizue Ogata. She's also 107 years old. Shizue what the? Ogata co founded the business with her husband, Hiroen Ogata, in 1979, but Hiroen passed away 20 years ago at the age of 93 due to organ failure. Thompson Technology hadn't perfected its core organ transplant technique back then. But Shizue can now use it to keep herself alive. Businesses are extremely competitive in the security sector. The Ogata family fought hard to maintain their monopoly at the early stage. Some family members even sacrificed their lives to achieve this. Shizue's lost all four of her children during the early expansion phase of the business. She now has only her three grandchildren left. One of them got into the film industry, one is a playboy, and the eldest is Hiroyuki Ogata. Hiroyuki Ogata is a highly skilled warrior who would do anything for the family. But he lacked business acumen and was made the commander of Koga forces instead. 
With none of her grandchildren competent enough to take over, the old lady had no choice but to continue leading the family <laughs> business. From what I've heard, Koga Industries' corporate creed is to follow the Bushido spirit, be loyal to its clients and agreements, and attach great importance to its corporate image. They're very selective of their clients. Why would they provide security for a gang member like Wei Long? <sighs> Forget it. I'll take a trip to Koga now. Easy, man. There's new intel about Lisbeth. The intel unit's AI, codenamed Fawn, finally ran through all of the surveillance cameras in Dragon City. By comparing every frame of all the video footage over the last few hours, the final location of Lisbeth's car can more or less be confirmed. Ditch Village, an abandoned village 40 kilometers away from the firm. Ditch Village? I remember past reports of an epidemic there, and all the villagers were evacuated. Now that place is cordoned off and abandoned. Why would Lisbeth go there? We sent a drone to take some video clips. The village was completely deserted and no useful intel was collected. Based on these two leads, where do you think will be most worth investigating? Ah, so we get to choose. But we have 20 seconds. In ditch Village, Elizabeth's car was spotted in the Ditch Village. She may have gone there to investigate something. Or, uh, Wei Long was taken away last night. He yelled at me not to get involved. He must know where Elizabeth is. Let's do Ditch Village. The other one looks really cool, though. Okay. Let me pick out this. Like we might be going. Oh, there's a gift from the director. Hello, sir. C'est sure. I saw the Long Xi Town brief. Good work. Hi, director. Sorry about the mess. What's most important is that you come back in one piece. Don't worry about the rest. We already sent a team in to take care of it. Liu Xin told me there's two leads to follow now. It's your choice. I'm going to... You don't need to fill me in on the details. Just go for it. Let me know if you need anything. Require e-coins, require cores. Huh. Let's say requires cores. Thanks, Director. I'm leaving now. Okay, cool. So he'll actually give us stuff. Sometimes. That's funny. It, it, they probably didn't say where he was going, so that way didn't, they didn't have to record new voice lines every time. Oh. I keep thinking that you have to stop there. Okay. So... Does that equip the keyboard? No, it doesn't. But we, I thought we unlocked it. Or is it only weapons that you buy from this guy that you unlock? What do we have right now? We have the arc. And none of that's really any better. Zishi, Let's chat with my him. man, you all right? I heard you tore the Long Shi Gang a new one last night. I'm fine, thanks to the weapons you gave me. I should have given you more ammo. I have some clues. I plan to continue the mission. Let's see what I can set you up with. Nice. Okay. So this will upgrade our current item that we have. How much were like my question is, is it worth upgrading a weapon over just buying a new one? Because like, what if I go into the next mission and there's a weapon that's twelve hundred and it's it's way higher than like upgrading this machete or the gun? That's where I'm kind of like, I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's only 200, so like, that's good. But I guess we can try it, right? Doesn't hurt. Upgrade the damage counter. Or the damage, not the, uh, the other one. And then I guess... Well, does that also work? Like, say, if I swap these out, I wonder if it'll stay here and then I can just, like... Does that mean every time I use it, the weapon is already leveled up? I 
Okay, I think so. So now, like, if I did find a machete out there, it would be level one out of three for the damage since I did level it up. So that's kind of cool. I think I'd rather wait until I found a pistol or that SMG, like something that's green to upgrade that instead of upgrading like a gray item. Like I could upgrade the arc, but I'm not gonna upgrade my current gun at least. Cool. And can we actually go back to our like house? Apartment. Wait, can we? Like, cause I, I'm sure I might have some upgrades or something. Rebuffs acquired. Archive settings. I don't think we can. It's really the only time you can go back, like when you die. Maybe? Oh. Trying to open up the map. Invest to unlock gun. Unlock gun. Unlocked melee weapon. So if it's green, we already have it unlocked. If it's yellow, then you have to invest to unlock it. Arm stealer. The arm stealer is the one where you. There's like the, there's got to be like a tutorial area. Note. Put machine. Uh, every stage has a unique weapon to be unlocked. Tip cores. We're archiving an unlocked memento might unlock you cores. Cores can be used to repair healing function in the of the logistics terminal. Learn new skills at the apartment or unlock outfits. Cores you earned will not be lost when you fall. Okay, that's good to know. That's definitely useful. And there was one. Activating each logistics terminal will unlock a complete terminal insurance, giving you one revival chance after taking a lethal strike. Uh, terminal insurance you gain from a level will not carry over to the next. That kind of makes sense. Okay, cool. Diary, all of that looks good. Okay, well, right here is going to be the end of part two for this Let's Play. So if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you plan on checking this game out, if you have been. Uh, in the comments um, or if you have any suggestions at all or any questions I've asked like feel free to leave them let me know for now see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching peace